Hey guys, HD here, and welcome to episode 141 of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So last time, we ended up ending the video where we spent a long time setting up for this glitch. Um, to where we'd be able to um, make infinite rubies. Now, is this one... Did I pick the best item for this? Uh, no. But... So buy my stuff. Uh, I, I'm curious if there would have been a better item than what I had selected. Um, it, it mostly depends on, do I have more of a certain item? And... I don't know, do I have $4,000 worth of another, another item that I could have sold? And the only thing that really came to my mind was either something super cheap that I have a lot of, or something really expensive that I also have a lot of. So... Let me see. I have 24 of these. How much are these worth? No. Well, I have these. I could I could sell eight diamonds. Now, if I had more diamonds, these ones are 200 for 15. That's only 3,000. These ones, 20 for 40. That is 800. So... Honestly, these diamonds are my best bet. Um, like, when it comes to doing this. If I had more rupees, I would love... Like, no, if I had more diamonds, I would do this a lot more efficiently. But I kind of want to get to, like, max... But I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't dupe uh, enough um, back before I updated on accident. Uh, so now I just kind of have to stick with having only eight diamonds. Uh, before the update, uh, I easily could have had gotten myself like a hundred, which then this would have been a lot quicker. Uh, but I made a mistake, so, uh, you know. Yeah, I just I'm gonna have to deal with it and just take the slow boat on this one unless I Do get another like set of diamonds Like duping them like using a different method. I know everyone's been talking about some bow method where you use a Lionel bow and you go into a spot that's like in between the depths Ugh, I don't care about your hometown Buy my stuff. Um, no. I want to sell them all. So, it's between, like, the depths and not the depths. So, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Wonder if there would be someone who would sell diamonds. And then I could buy them for, like, a thousand rupees. I would honestly be worth it, just because of how much I could amplify him using this. I know there is some methods where you can do different, like, things. You know, I'm just going to quit when I get to 100,000 rupees. Because I think 100,000 is more than enough to buy anything I need really um this is a stupidly quick method though so to, to just take infinite money um, you know by the time this video is uploaded it's probably patched uh this video probably won't be uploaded for a stupidly long time since like i recorded it but I think this is, like, this type of video and on 
is gonna mark me being a lot more just kind of beat the game and get everything in the game and i guess it's not gonna be as much as a playthrough but a just get through and well yeah i am playing i'm just getting through but it's fine so hopefully we i have fun doing this what the heck bro all my diamonds are I don't. Uh, uh, nope. Please, no. Diamond. Diamond. Let's see. How many diamonds do I have? I have eight. Um. Using the paraglider, that would have went so much. I have a snow quill tunic, right? Snow quill. I. I have, I do. And it's actually pretty good, so I don't think I want to sell it anytime soon. But now that we have ample rupees, let's just buy everything, you know? Oh, shoot. No, buy all of them. So, and another thing about when it comes to just kind of streamlining the game, um, something that that includes is... When do I have let me look how many light bulbs not light bulbs um these I do okay blessings I only have I don't know a few you know I'm not look at landing I can just shoot into the sky why would I waste my time running all the way over there so um, I know, like, you know, this in the last episode may have been a little boring because I just spent so much time just duping. I don't know if to you, if it is boring to watch or not, but okay, wait, I'm going to pause real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for that pause, but I am back and... Uh, I am continuing to explore. Okay. I had a notification go off, so I had to look at that. Well, I guess dwell into it. Okay. So let's continue going. So I was looking and I'm like 55, 60 hours into the game. And we're at, what, like, how many episodes are we at? Like, 140. I would assume that you're just ready for the game, for me to kind of finish the game. Uh, so. And I'm kind of to that point, too. Well, I'm just kind of ready to beat the game, and not that I'm, like, tired of it, it's just I've been doing it for months now, and it's just kind of getting, not, no, it's not getting old, I, I love the game, but it's just, there's other games I'm going to play, and there's more games I'm going to play on this series, well, not in this series, but on this channel that I think you'll want to watch. And if all I have is Tears of the Kingdom for the next, like, year or two, um, you know, it'll get kind of boring. So, it says there's a shrine here. But we can make the assumption there's probably a cave... So, looking at the map, it is too, so there is a big clump of bushes, and it's right here. It's the pin. But what else is right there? Is there a person? Did I see a person? Oh, like, right there. Huh? 
not a person nuded. So, let me check and see, is there any caves nearby? Because it can be quite often where there's a shrine and right nearby there's a cave. Okay, let me... Let me just take out the trash real quick. These guys are being kind of dumb. Thinking they can just come up and... Oh, come on, stupid guy. Thinking they can just walk all over me. But they can't. So, yeah. Okay. So, I am... Right where there would be a shrine. A... Actually, it would be right here. But when I go over this direction, do I just see a shrine? Do I see hints of a shrine? And the answer is no. But what I do see is there's a cave a decent bit away. Now, I am not sure if the cave will go all the way this direction. I hope, but I can't say for sure. So there is a cave right there. And that's the Adolf Foothills Cave. Now the Tenement Shrine. Uh, the Okay. Let me see, is there any wells nearby? That is another thing it could possibly be. Okay, so I'm assuming it's actually the complete opposite way I was going. So, according to my, <laughs> my resource, there is a well. And inside the well, apparently, is a shrine. So, yeah, I guess just find the well and I'll find the shrine. Is my logical thought process. It is down here a little. Maybe I need to pin it. Let's pin this this thing. So, okay, it's actually should be very obvious based off of what I'm looking at. So there is like a little rune looking thing. Okay, it is right here. Right here. It's this way to these runes. Okay. We see the well. We have found the well. So, you know, all is well. Okay, let's hop down the well. The Imola Nose Well. This goes into the depths? This is not the depths. But either way, I have been bamboozled. This is... Let's not waste arrows with these guys. They're kind of dumb. Man, it is dark. Like, it is, like, really dark here. In this cave. There's, like, horroblins... Horroblins and everything. But man, there is a crap ton of bright bloom seeds here. Nice broadsword. So... There's the shrine. We must make our way across. Hmm. 
Man, this is a very unique location. No wonder there's a shrine. I may not have the energy to do much more than I am doing. It is like pitch black here. It's crazy. The Tenement Shrine. Let's go ahead and do this. And that is awesome. The Tenement Shrine. This is our one hundredth shrine. Believe it or not, it is a blessing. It's a blessing. That is. For one hundredth shrine, we got a blessing. Is that not a blessing, though? Is it not? <laughs> Large zone I charge. Honestly, I'm thinking for my next thing, I'm gonna go south to the Laurenel Village area, a uh, region kind of thing, and. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm probably gonna more just smack down, get shrines done, have a ball with it. And, you know, it's going to take time to do, but I think you guys would love for me to beat the game. It's, you know, it's awesome. Um, looking at the, like, the different maps. One area is the south. So the south Hyrule Sky Archipelago. We are really lacking. In south Hyrule Sky Archipelago. There is actually a shrine there. And everything. So, making our way there would be beneficial. To get the shrine. And... And everything. Let me go to the sky and just pick a simple little pin lamp. You know, something as easy as that. Now I can just make my way there. But it does it's not as simple as it may seem. Although is that low elevation? Actually it may be way simpler than it seems. Yeah, this actually looks easier. Although, this looks like a crystal. And it looks like right below is a battlefield. Okay, let's try to avoid these. They're just trying to get me off track. The South Hyrule style archipelago. Let's make our way there. We're almost there. Okay, awesome. We made it. Unharmed at that. Oh, here's another item dispenser. Let's, you always have to make sure you get every single one, though. Um, and there's the shrine quest. Go there to activate it. So yeah, I've also heard there are some different glitches, duplication, that you can use with these item dispensers. Not that I um, would, but it is a thought of using those. Um, I don't know if you'd want to watch a video where I do that sometime. Um, it's more do I want to do that sometime. I'd almost want to make a list of what items do I need and how many. The Okay, so we made it to the Jin Dock Shrine. This will be number 101. 
seek the crystal connected to the beam. Do that, and I will offer you the light that banishes evil. Actually, this seems a lot easier than I thought it would be. Truthfully. You know what, who cares about that? I think this is one of those where you kind of got to use recall. And you go like this. I mean, you just wait a little bit. Okay, let's go get this. I mean, you could use like a hovercraft or something like that. But doing it the intended way, I believe would be simple with the easiest thing to do. Uh, but let's grab this just so it don't do any funky stuff. But thank you very much for giving me a very easy shrine quest. Okay, let's go in. Awesome. Dun, 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 dun. South Hyrule Sky Crystal completed. No, but the amount of like sky stuff we have to do is kind of just like um. A diamond. Oh, I could have used that like just a little bit ago. Only in this, only on this episode, that could have added an extra, I don't know, few thousand to my bank account. But I do think at some point I want to get 99999 rupees, just so I never have to worry about them again. And no point in duping for rupees. If you have the maximum number. Now... Okay, let's go back to that beam thing. Okay, so... <laughs> looking at this, we can see there is some... Lakes, right here. And do you see the Great Plateau? So, there is apparently... Apparently... A shrine goes right here. Now, the way of accessing this is... I, I don't know, um, I believe it is below the Great Plateau. And what easier to way to get to the Great Plateau than from a Sky Island up here? Uh, I don't know. So that is a question I would have to challenge you with, if you like that type of thing so I don't know my assumption like I said is that it is below could it be below above definitely not ruling anything like that out but it's right down there I don't need a stop to refuel but it definitely could be below um, there is a cave below, so do I see a shrine here? Is it a shrine quest? No. I would go out on a limb and guess that it is in a cave. Now, let's just... Look around. Do we see 
a cave. Let's go this way. Do we see any caves? And I guess just keep going until I see one. I don't know. Okay, yes, we do see a cave. And we also see him. But we can just leave him now. He means nothing to us right now. Oh, shoot. Bomb arrows. They are not as plentiful as they were at one point. Unfortunately. I just don't have a good way. Uh, to do, eat, get any more. These are one of those extremely useful items that can be a little difficult to get, I guess. Okay, here. Now that we have a rusty claim moss, we just kind of do things the old fashioned way. Let's just do this. Awesome, we got some light. Let's see, what is behind this wall? It is a very mysterious color. Does that stuff just not break? Oh my goodness. Destroy fused material. <laughs> this one's yellow, it's weak. Gotta give me a strong one. Is there another one of those? Yeah, don't be stupid. Give me this. Just let's just kill it. Don't even bother with it anymore. Okay, so we yeah, we can hear the shrine music now. Just use the rock sledge to get through. Okay. And there's the Kongu Kong Shrine. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys back in the next one. Bye.